Vigils took place across our region today to honor and remember unhoused Vermonters who died last year. Housing advocates say more needs to be done to address the rising issues of homelessness in Vermont. Channel 3's Cam Smith is live at the State House tonight where one vigil just took place. Cam, what can you tell us? Yeah, Kiana and Darren, just a little while ago, Vermonters gathered here on the State House steps in solidarity with members of the homeless community to reflect on lives lost as well as call for change. Some legislators I spoke with today tell me homelessness is a top priority for them in this upcoming session. Moments of silent reflection in candlelight on the State House steps in Montpelier Thursday. Every life is sacred and everyone deserves the dignity of a warm home and safety and the remembrance of a life well lived. The vigil was held on what is known as the longest night of the year by Capstone Community Action. Sue Minter is the executive director and says more needs to be done at the State House to make sure needs are met. We consider this a housing emergency. We think we need more housing of every type, but particularly affordable housing and emergency shelter that is humane and addressing the actual acute needs of people who lack housing now. By April, nearly 700 Vermont households living in government-subsidized hotel rooms will have to check out, according to DCF. Right now, the agency says it's serving more than 1,500 households through temporary shelters. Since the first group of voucher recipients were kicked out earlier this summer, officials have been searching for alternatives to the hotel-motel program, which they say is no longer sustainable. That really needs to be our focus um, for people to move out of um, unsheltered homelessness or even out of the motel program. We need to have units for people to move into and, and that does need to be a range. Um, you know, some of them need to be affordable because we're housing a lot of people who are on fixed incomes um, and so they need to have something um, that they can afford. Homelessness is among the top priorities for lawmakers this coming session. Representative Teresa Wood is the chair of the House Committee on Human Services. She says decades of underfunding for housing and the pandemic have created adverse challenges and solutions won't happen overnight. It's not going to be a one session solution that is going to uh, fix everything. It will take resources that um, span several years uh, and it will take a public and private partnerships uh, to accomplish what we need to accomplish. Now, Representative Wood says it will also be important to find solutions to the root causes of homelessness. She says on day one, her committee will focus on understanding the importance of supportive services that folks in the community need, like access to mental health resources, as well as substance use treatment. Live in, in Montpelier, Cam Smith, Channel 3 News.